Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and I am going to show you how to get this image using some dodge and burn within Luminar 4. Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines, and this is the result. But before we start talking about the result, remember that I am a Luminar partner. If you guys want a good price or you want to support the channel, go into the description. There's all these instructions on how to click. You can get rebates and the whole bit. You can use my coupon code. Check it out. So now let's get to making the image you see in front of you with Dodge and Burn. A lot of people have been talking to me about how to do Dodge and Burn within Luminar. And today I'm going to show you with this picture of Meg and Owen. So without further ado, let's get into it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to edit this photo. I'm going to get out of the interface I'm in right now. This interface is probably the interface you get when you open Luminar for the first time. What you have to do is go over here to looks and take the looks tab off so that your photo will fill the whole screen. Now, what is Dodge and Burn? Dodge and Burn is basically accentuating any highlights that are already there and accentuating any shadows that are already there. You'll say, well, why don't I just take the contrast slide and push it up? It's not the same because it does sort of the same thing, but you get to choose where those highlights and where those shadows appear. So what we want to do is draw in places where we want to dodge and where we want to burn. Where we want dodge meaning brighten, burn meaning darken. Here is the image of Megan Owen. Beautiful image. I have a video on the behind the scenes on this and I'll probably leave the description below. It was a really fun shoot, but... Here is the image of Meg and Owen. They are on a, an original layer. When I do dodge and burn, I always go to the layers panel here and I will create a layer. I'll go plus add new adjustment layer. When I add my new adjustment layer within the new Luminar, all you got to do is go to where you want to work. You will go into the pro panel. You'll go to dodge and burn right here. You have a level here for your overall amount. And all you got to do is press start painting. When you do that, the panel appears right up here. So you have brush lighten and a brush for darken. I don't know why they call it darken and lighten. It, you know, it's weird because over here it says dodge and burn, but here it says lighten and darken. But suffice to say, lighten is dodge and darken is burn. Erase is when you want to take away the effect that you just put in. You also have strength, the amount to which you want your brush to push in the lightening or the darkening. So I personally scale this down quite a bit. I will go to darken and I will accentuate some shadows. When I go into my image, the cursor turns into a brush. I use my open close brackets to make the brush bigger or smaller. You can also uh, use the size slider right here. You just go to the drop down and you move it up and down and it will change the size of your brush. But for now, I go small, make sure my strength of my burn is light and not too high just to start off slowly now from this point on i will not be using the brush size drop down menu here i'll be doing it with open close brackets just so you can see that there you go so what i'm going to do is darken in a bit here because i want to bring in some drama because this looks a bit like a sculpture so i mean click in there darken that section just to give you an idea here you can really see how it's darkening there you go now you can erase what you just did by doing that. I'll move the strength up to around 53 just to exaggerate so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, therefore, if I go to darken, so you can see it's actually burning in what you want to burn in here. Okay, so I will undo that. That's way too much and I'll erase the effect. It's not very nice. Okay. So what I want to do here is accentuate some of the shadows. I'll go in here, accentuate some shadows. Uh, I'm at 53. The strength is way, way, way too high. Therefore, I will undo, erase what I just did. Remember that all you got to do is go get the eraser. Bring my strength down to 10%, let's say. Darken. Darken in here. So what I want to do here is darken all the areas that are already dark. It's that simple in this case. So I will go in here 
Uh, let me erase some of the effect there. There's too much. Go back to darken. Put some dark in there. Around the muscles, contour the muscles. When you contour those muscles, it brings out the contours even more. That's kind of fun. And then I will lighten. So let's say I want to brighten all the areas that show up towards the light. And it'll give me more drama. I pull this up right here. Oh, man, I'm having problems. There you go. Once I pull the strength up, you're going to see it's very strong. Look at that. That's crazy. This is dodge and burn on steroids. Like, you know, bring it down a bit. Always go get that hair. Brighten up the hair. Brighten up basically all the places where you can. It'll accentuate contours. Megan's stomach. There you go. There you go. Watch out, guys. That's another thing. Luminar is a bit slow on its processing power. Therefore, when you edit, it's not really immediate. you got to wait just a little bit. It's one of the big problems. If you check my review on Luminar, that's one of the problems is that the it, it doesn't... It doesn't process right away so you don't see the feedback of what you're doing right off the bat so let me just look at this this is without the effect this is with without with okay I'll, I'll use the slider so you guys can see let's just go done over here when you go done you're back into your layer this is before and after there you go. before and after dodge and burn what you do is you go draw in where you want highlights and draw in where you want shadows that's what dodge and burn is all about now from this point on i'm going to just edit the photo and put it to my liking using different tools There you go, guys. That is it. So that was would be the edit. I would definitely leave this like it is. I really think that is a nice edit. Uh, so there you go. That's how you get to dodge and burn within Luminar. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember that I am a partner. So if you want to get Luminar at a good price, check in the description. $10 off US, $15 Canadian. Hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing.